It's me, Bree, here with Destiny Kids, and we are about to have loads of fun today. You know what to do. Buckle in real, real tight, and let's go see what's coming up next. For today's wacky fact, wacky fact is, nope. For today's wacky fact, did you know that the largest bubble ever blown out of bubble gum was 23 inches? That's a lot. So, if you're at home and you have some bubble gum, Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Shouldn't be hard, I mean, shouldn't be hard at all. That was accomplished over 20 years ago. I'm sure that this will be a lot greater if I can establish that. Just toss it wherever you need to. Oh, it's so pink and delicious. Fine. You just gotta work it out. Just stretch it like silly putty. best day, but I'm sure that you can well outdo me. Let's go check out our Bible lesson. For today's Bible lesson, we are learning a very cool story about the prodigal son, or we call it the lost son. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So there was this son, and of course the son has a dad and a mom and a whole family and a brother and all kind of stuff. And they had some money, right? So they had land, they probably had a bunch of farm animals and a really cool house, and they were there. And so the son went to the dad and said, hey, so that inheritance that I'm supposed to get like a long time from now, you think I could get that like maybe in the next three to five business days or maybe like now? And the dad was like, absolutely son, sure. Here you go and he gave him a big inheritance. Now, an inheritance is something that sometimes it's just a lot of money, right? So he was basically given a lot of money. Do you know what he did? He didn't go and put it somewhere safe or buy himself a really nice house or anything, no. He went out and blew it. Can you say he blew it? Just like that bubble gum? Yes, he blew through that inheritance, all of that money. And he was out just having a good old time, probably going out to eat, probably buying lots of balloons and bubble gum and all kind of stuff to make sure that he was partying really cool. And eventually, all of that money ran out. Can you say it ran out? Yes, it did. And so he was like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just blew through all of this money and now I have none. And then oh, the worst thing happened, a famine came on the land that he was in. And that means there was no rain to come in and basically water all the crops. So like there was no fruits or vegetables or anything. And so it was nothing. And so he was like, well, I have no money and I have no food. I gotta get a job. So he had to go out and get a job, and the job that he got was taking care of the pigs. Oh yeah, it was real glamorous. And he went out, and he was hanging out with the pigs, and he was feeding them, and all this kind of stuff. And what actually ended up happening is he had to end up sleeping there, because he didn't have any money for a place to sleep. He didn't have any money for food, so he was eating with the pigs, and sleeping with the pigs, and taking care of the pigs. So he went from his father's house, where he had a bed, where he had food, 
where he had, they had servants and people that worked for them on their farm and stuff. And he went from that to now he's taken naps with the pigs. And so he was like, well, I can't do this anymore. I mean, could you imagine? You're sleeping with pigs and you know that mom and dad are just at home and you're like, well, I could maybe go back home, but I know I did a really bad thing. I know that I took all this money and I know that I blew through all of this money and so I'm just gonna go and ask my dad if I can just, you know, just be a servant. I don't even have to be looked at as a son anymore. I mean, he felt so bad about where he was in his life, what situations that his choices have gotten him into. And so he decided to go back home. Now you would kind of lean, you know, sorry, you would kind of think like, well, I mean, if he went back, I know if someone came back to me after taking all this money and blew it, oh, he's sleeping outside, he's gonna sleep with my pigs. But you know what's so cool about this story? Is that whenever he went back and told his dad, hey, I'll just be a servant, his dad said, no way, Jose. You're not just gonna be a servant, you're my son. That didn't change because you left. So what we're gonna do, hey, you, I want you to go and you start preparing all of the food. I want you to go and I want you to get the best piece of coat or fabric and I want you to wrap him up in it. I want you to clean him up really good because this is my son. And it was as if he never left. His father's love for him never changed. Nothing like that happened. He embraced his son and then his son went back to how his life was before. And that's how Jesus is with us. No matter how far we go away, no matter how far we wander or any situations that we get ourselves into by our own choices, you always have a home in Christ. You can always come back home. You can always reach out. And what's amazing about Jesus is that he says, hey, you know what? If you repent and you tell me, you know, you ask for forgiveness, man, I'm gonna throw the biggest party. I'm gonna love you because I never stopped loving you. You're gonna be welcomed right back in because you were always my son. You were always my daughter. So no matter what you go through, no matter how far you go, and no matter the decisions that you make, there is always grace in the Father's house. So make sure that you stay connected to God our Father. For our crazy craft today, we are making bracelets. So you're gonna need a couple of things. Of course, let's start with some scissors. Make sure that you have someone to help you with those. Then I chose just some letters. Of course, don't forget your string or your cord for your bracelets. And then I have like multicolor beads and then I have these beads that have different words on them. So definitely pick whatever one you wanna do and let's go and create something great.
just completed making our bracelets. And this is not limited just to bracelets. You can make keychains, necklaces, any type of thing. But this one says hope. And I made a bracelet and that's what that one says. And then this one I'm gonna give to my best friend and this says bestie on it. And I just put different colors of beads and I made it really, really creative and I know that you can make something just as beautiful. I hope you had loads of fun today. I know I did. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, hit all the buttons, and I will see you next time right here on Destiny Kids.